just what do you think of him, and is there a chance we see him tomorrow in the game? Yeah, I thought he looked really good out there, and we'll reassess here after practice, and you know we're hopeful, but uh, see how we meet out after this practice. He didn't have done that much. Any updates on the guys that were out there, Bennett, Gudis, uh, Nudavara? Uh, day to day, all of them. They stayed a little bit earlier, kind of reevaluate, probably find out a little later today. I don't expect them for the next game at least, and we'll go from there. And going with uh, Bob tomorrow against Washington? Uh, going with Bob tomorrow, yeah. And just looking at that game, uh, obviously, like I said, you had to recharge a little bit here, you know, heading into another big game against the Caps. Just big week for you guys. You have the Caps, you have the Hurricanes, two of the other top teams in the league. Uh, can you sense some excitement from the guys for these ones? Uh, I think we're just staying the course. You know, I think we've had a, you know, we played some big teams early, and tomorrow night's another test. And that's about as far as we're looking. You know, I think uh, we had a few days hopefully to, to get some rest and re-energize. And last week was a very, uh, I mean, obviously a tiring physically week, but a tired mental week too. Where we went through a lot of stuff. So I felt uh, I really liked our practice. We had a lot of pace, a lot of jump, and carried it on. What's the thought on number four being activated? Is he close to coming back or starting up? Yeah, we're hoping. I mean, uh, you know, he's been at it for a little while here and um, trying to get him back up to speed. So um, we're kind of reevaluating him daily and should have a decision here hopefully in the next week. There's not a decision, but you know, a little bit better where we're at here in the next few days and hopefully get him in at some point. Okay, so you said Gudis will be out tomorrow, though? We don't know for sure. Okay. We're going to reevaluate him. We'll know a little bit more today or probably when I get off here, we'll find out exactly where he's at. And I think he's, uh, you know, he's a gamer. We'll try to play, but if not, you know, we'll see. What do you make of Alex Ovechkin's start here? 36 years old, nine goals, six assists in, what, nine games? Just what has allowed him to, like, have this staying power at his age? He's an unbelievable player. <laughs> you know, really. He's, uh, yeah, I mean, he's just always been great. So the great ones, they just find a way to keep rolling. I mean, yeah. watch football every Sunday and see Tom Brady. And, yeah, you know, uh, Alex is kind of carrying that over. And, um, you know, it's amazing what he's done in his career. It's amazing what he's done on the power play. That everybody in, in the league, everybody on TV, every fan knows where he gets it and shoots it. So, yeah, nothing surprises me what he does. And how tough is that to defend, that power play? I mean, yeah, 15 years, right? <laughs> I know. It, it is unbelievable, really. I think if you look at all the different sports, I'm not sure we can find, you know, a sport where a guy can sit there and, and do it for so long we still can't stop him. That's how good he is. And he's benefited from some great passers, too. So, but he's... Uh, He's a unique, remarkable talent. Thank you. Thanks so much. Yeah. Thanks. Thanks.